Today I'm going to show you how to dehydrate mini marshmallows. When you dehydrate marshmallows, they turn from being very soft and kind of squishy to being kind of hard and firm. So when you bite into them, it has a nice crunch. Kind of think of the marshmallows that you have in the Lucky Charm cereal. I like to make these for putting with my hot chocolate mixes. Um, I like the flavor. They do rehydrate nicely in the hot chocolate, but I do kind of like eating them as a snack. And these are really easy to make. You can only use the mini marshmallows. You can't do this with the really big ones, kind of the more traditional size ones. They're too big, um, so even when dehydrating for a long time, the inside doesn't get completely uh, rid of moisture. So it has kind of the crunchy shell on the outside, but it's still going to be um, kind of marshmallowy on the inside. So we're going to do this with the mini marshmallows. So this will be pretty straightforward. You don't have to do any prep work. You just put your marshmallows onto the tray. The one suggestion that I do have is when you're buying the marshmallows is look for a bag where the marshmallows are kind of loose. Um, they almost feel like they're just moving around very easily as opposed to one like this where you can kind of see where it's, it's more like a clump so it almost has like kind of melted together. They um, won't spread out on the tray as easily so I do get a little picky about the bags and I try to get ones that are um, very kind of loose to make it easier for me. So just so you see the difference, see how these just kind of pour out? So they will dehydrate very nicely because I can put them in a nice thin layer. But see how this just kind of comes out like a clump? So it'll just be harder to dehydrate easily because I can't really smooth it out as nice. So look for this style marshmallow in the bags. The trays on my Excalibur just slide right in to the track so you put all of your shelves in and then we're going to put the cover on. For dehydrating marshmallows I tend to leave the temperature on 130 and I like to do mini marshmallows for about 5 hours and then you can check afterwards uh, see if they need a little bit more. On my Excalibur, it actually has a timer, so after the five hours, it'll automatically turn off. I can check them for doneness. If they're good, then we're great. If not, I can leave them in for a little bit longer. When checking on your marshmallows, they should be rock hard. There should be no flexibility at all, and when you bite into it, you should hear a nice crunch. So it should be completely dried out. It tastes just like Lucky Charms marshmallows. Now they are still hot because I just turned this off. So you want to let them cool for about a half hour. So that way when you put them into your container, there's no moisture in the container because the heat will uh, create moisture which will cause mold. So we're going to let them cool for about a half hour. I like to use the canning funnel on my jar. makes it a little bit easier to put my marshmallows in. I'm just going to grab the tray and just put them in. I like to put in an oxygen absorber for long-term storage. Put your lid on. Don't forget to label it so that way you know what's inside as well as the date so you can rotate your pantry. And there are your mini marshmallows dehydrated. They are perfect for snacking. I eat them by itself, but I love to put them in with hot chocolate.